praise be to God on this glorious day, everybody. Colorful Artie's back for more Donkey Kong Country free Game Boy Advance. So, we're almost to the end of the Kremwood Forest. So first up, we're going to Brash's Stadium. Hey, it's the Banana Brain Dixie! What do you think, uh, you doing barging in on Brash's Stadium without asking? See that riverbank race? I ran that in 1 minute 15 seconds. You couldn't do it in double that time. Goodness me, if I looked like you, Dixie, I'd walk backwards just to appear a bit more presentable. This guy's such a jerk! I do not remember being this much of a jerk in my fir in my original uh, playthrough of this. Wow, we need to take him down a peg. First up, though, we're going to the last level, Bobbing Barrel Brawl. Not the boss level, but the last actual level. So it's one of these levels again. Nice thing, though, is... Uh, <laughs> No bees or no bugs following us. So if we throw this into the inflatable bird, he'll drop TNT on that bee and we can get the K. And there's a fish in that water. I'm not sure the exact name for it. I will call him Snapjaw, because that's what he was called in Donkey Kong Country 2. Do not enter the water if he is in there. Also, it's another alley level. Thankfully, there are no rats. But yeah, if you enter the water while he's in there, you're gonna die. Also, this is gonna reveal Ellie's other special move. If you hold down R and hold down, she will gain the ability to shoot water at enemies. Just press R and hold down in order to get water. You will need to use this multiple times in the game. And then press R again to shoot it. I cannot stress enough just how important it is for you to know that. And we can get ourselves our first bonus barrel like that. Find the coin! Ah, yes. Good. That was close. I am amazed Snapjaw did not bite me. Normally, if you touch the water, he won't immediately bite you and kill you. Normally. Alright. Gotta quickly get some water. And that did not work, because Ellie was too slow. Does not help that it resets her water to zero after a bonus level. Alright, we can suck that up and kill these guys. TNT barrels are incredible. Shoot. That means I can't get the bear coin. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Clap trap's no big deal. Got a time sucking that up just right. Darn it. It is important to note, not every level has respawning steel kegs, so do be wary of that. Most of them do, there are a couple that don't. Oh yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Actually, no, it's not. Take that. And Snapjaw's not on this part. Finbot Ellie, she can swim on the surface of water, but she can't actually swim underwater. She can fall underwater, but then she will quickly swim back up to the surface. You can also hold, uh, while holding the barrel with B, you can release B while holding down and you will drop the barrel. That can be useful on this level to know. Kill that B. Also, if you go underwater, you will get water automatically. You don't have to suck it up. Also, you can shoot the water up if you hold up when you push R. So you can see there's the bonus barrel down there. What we want to do, let these guys go forward. Now they're flying in the air. We do a super jump off that, go underwater, bam! We fall down just low enough so we can touch the bonus barrel. Why that's collect the stars, not just find the coin, I don't know, but hey, whatever. <laughs> Drop that in the water. We'll kill that guy just to be a jerk. Fill ourselves up with water. Well done, Ellie. Woo. So Ellie is fairly good in her own regard, but she's just... She's not a replacement for Rambi. Could have made her an additional partner. 
but you did not have to remove Rambi just to put her in. Especially since Rambi got stiffed on a level in DK Country 2. All the other animal buddies had a whole level to devoted to them, and he only got half. Oh well, I digress. That's level complete! Alright, time to take Brash down a few pegs. We're going back to Riverside Race to beat his record. It's important to note that there are warp barrels in this. Those are invisible barrels that, if you touch them, they will appear and then warp you to the end of the level. There's one on this level, too. There's one for every level in the first two worlds. Unfortunately, warping to the end will prevent you from beating Brash's record. It will automatically cut your time up to, I believe, the highest time possible. That might have been patched out in the GBA version, but I know that's the way it was in the Super NES version. Which is the one I've played more recently. Got it for the Virtual Console on the Wii U! Alright, I am 10 seconds ahead of Brash. That's really good. Music's just so relaxing. KG! Kevin Garnett. Come on. Yeah! New record! We beat it by two seconds. Let's go rub it in his face. Oh, he's upset. What? You can't have beaten my time! I've held that record for two years running! You've made me so angry I could just... Well, this guy turned into the Hulk. He got so angry, a log magically floated down the river. I don't know how that works. But we can use that to our advantage now. Instead of going to the boss, we can continue going down and go to a hidden cave, Eric's Horde. Oh no, now there are four to remember. Yeah, we got a banana bird! Anyways, time for the boss of Kremwood Forest. It's Eric's Ambush. He gets some cool boss music. So this is Eric, a giant... I can't tell if it's just a spider or if he's an old man spider with like a mu white mustache. So basically what you can do is you can jump on his legs to get height, grab the barrel on the top, and then hit him in the face with it. This is much easier to do with Dixie Calm, because Dixie Calm holds the barrel above her head, and she can just jump into his head. This is where it gets a little more tricky, because now he'll shoot webs at us. Now the key for this, set the barrel down. Same the way we did with Ellie the Elephant on Bobby Barrel Brawl. Alright, he only has one health left. The bosses in this are relatively easy until you get to a later world. Alright, this is the part where you really do want to set the barrel down. Just because, because you get a much bigger hitbox when you're carrying a barrel. It's highly likely one of those webs is going to hit you, and the barrel will be destroyed. But just like that, Eric is dead. Well, not dead. He just gets big boo-boos. And speaking of big boo-boos, we get a band-aid. Very good, Collins. No more web spinning fun for that eight-legged freak. I'm sure Funky will put that patch to good use. Go see him now. So yeah, this game is not very linear, like, we just beat the first two worlds, but now we actually have to go back in the overworld to Funky to, uh, give him the Band-Aid. But first, let's go up here to Blunder's Booth. I've been watching your progress for a while, Collins. The name's Blunder, but you can call me Mr. Blunder. So you think you're going to find everything in the game? Eh? You don't even know there's a lost world, do you? Whoops, I think I just let the cat out of the bag. Yep, just like Donkey Kong Country 2, there is a lost world in this. Bonus world, completely optional, but of course we're going to do it. This is Colorful Artie we're talking about. Anyways, let's go back to Funky's Rentals. 
A patch? Oh yeah, this is just what I needed. Hang on for just a couple seconds, Collins, and I'll whip up a cool new tub for you, a rub-a-dub-dub. I have a hard time doing Funky Kong's voice. By that I mean I can't do it. Alright, we're actually going to leave because we've got quite a few coins now. Catch you later, Collins! Alright, we're not going back to Wrinkly's Hut. We're going to Bazaar's General Store. So then, how may I be of assistance to you? So we have 20 coins, so I think we can get the chocolate now. These are the finest chocolates guaranteed to impress. They can be yours for just 20 coins. Booyah! Just enough! I can tell you now, Collins, that you have made a very worthy purchase. Hey, you just have a really nice day now, Collins, you hear? Brash could take a few manner lessons from Bazaar. Actually, I guess we will go to Wrinkly's Retreat again. We've got some banana birds for her. What was that? You'd like to change your name? Oh, sorry, I misheard. You want to save your game? If you bump into Cranky, tell him to stop wasting his money on Swanky's bonus games. Okay, that... I think is like a direct rip from the Super NES version. Because that does not really make sense in this game. Because Cranky never goes to Swanky stand, and Wrinkly doesn't save your game. I'm the Tower of Power! Too sweet to be sour! Yo, Collins, you got anything new yet? So we're going to try Challenge 1, Destroy. Cool, dudes! I knew you'd be up for it! Right, here's what you need to do. Those gremlins have cluttered up all my shortcuts downriver. Why don't you see if you can blast their scaly butts out of the water? Use the control pad to steer your boat, press the B button to accelerate, and the A button to fire your gun. Destroy 10 and I'll reward you big time. Boat race, huh? Oh, wow, this is completely different controls from the boat race, uh, from just the boat oh, on the overworld map. Well, this is kind of fun. I a, yeah, uh, truth be told, I've never actually done this. I'm always like, boo, bonus games that aren't necessary to beat the game? Way. Yeah. So I've actually never gotten 100% in this, so we'll have to see how that goes. I have beaten all the levels, though. I've beaten the Lost World. Oh, mission failed? Oh, there's a finish line. Oh, man. That's actually going to be hard. Oh, dear! What happened, dudes? Gotta try harder than that! Yo, yo, yo! I did have that really bad start, to be fair, so... Oh, man. Graphics for this are not bad. Oh, I've got fuel. I just realized that, and every time I hit something, I lose fuel. Whoops! Get back here. Man, this is really hard. Those boats in the front are so freaking fast. Let's try challenge two. I think we get the banana bird as the reward anyways. Right, dudes, you ready for this? You need to steal floating mines from the Kremlins before they can cause mayhem. They won't be happy about it, so expect a chase. Use your excellent steering skills to bring the mines across the safety zones marked with buoys. So now we get to use... Well, same boat. So we do not have a gun in this one. Uh-oh. There's only one guy, though, so... And lots more appear, or if they start getting, like, guns or something. Okay, or they could stun lock me in place. Yeah, that could be bad. Great, they're faster than me, too. Move it! Okay, what the heck? Once they catch up to you, you can't outrun them. They're just, like, that fast. 
Still, if I didn't steer into the wall at the beginning, I think that one's going to be much easier. Okay. He's going a bit better. Kremlin. Okay, I think you are faster if you're not carrying a bomb. Nope, you are not stun walking me again. I've had quite enough of that from the last attempt. One more to go. This stupid Kremlin's on my tail. Wait, what? I touched a wall and I lost all of my fuel? That is a lot of baloney. I'm gonna try this again. If I can't do that, I'm going back to challenge one. Also, zigzagging does not seem to get them off your tail. If anything, it makes them get closer to you. Yeah, like, once they're on your tail, you can do nothing to get them off. You can't do big turns, you can't just do a straightaway, you can't zigzag. There's literally nothing you can do! So it's pretty much just down to praying. Get off of me, you butt! Did the developers not test these fully? Alright, back to destroy. At least I got eight of them last time. Also, why don't I have my gun in the other one? Stupid Kremlins, get back here! Why is the exit goal so short? No, I did not want to hire a vehicle. Funky Kong, can you please just give me your banana bird? It's not like you have any use for it. Go faster if you're not shooting your gun. It doesn't seem like it. Get back here. I'm so close. Killed him. Killed him. Wait, what? Oh, oh, I killed 10, though. Does that count? <laughs> what? But I got 10 of them! 
He just said if you destroy 10, you'll get rewarded big time. I did that. Fuck, you call him the liar. Can't I just do another round of Cranky Calm Dojo training? Okay, I destroyed 10 that time and made it to the goal. Dick, how can it be mission failed? Funky Kong, your game is broken. grateful that the Kremlin just kind of materialized out of nowhere, though. Let's you kill them much more easily. Okay, there. I've killed 11. You cannot tell me I failed. Thank you! Stupid Funky Kong. You sure showed those Kremlins! Here, take these as a small reward! I want your banana bird. Do I have to do all of the boat missions just to get the banana bird? He didn't give me the banana bird. Also, he gave me the prizes literally as slowly as you possibly could. Oh well. We can do some more overworld exploring at least. Freak out, freak out. Yeah, not in the good way though. We can rent the new vehicle, the hovercraft. Hovercraft's a bit better than the regular boat because you can actually move through rocks now, somehow. So we can start by going for these rocks. Up on this shore, there's another hidden cave. The Calm Cave. This is where the, all the calms hang out, apparently. Oh no, now you have to memorize five in a row. By the way, who put these banana birds in, like, solid crystal? Like, how does that even, like, happen? I honestly do not know. Well, anyways, welcome to the second sector of the map. And yes, we can actually do the next two worlds in any order we please. Which is kind of cool. Not very linear. And there's Bramble's Bungalow here. Hey, Bramble. You've got one! A perfect Flapperius Petalus Pongus. Would you let me have it? I'd be ever so grateful. Yeah, sure. Oh, you are too generous, Collins. Here, take this beautiful rose in exchange. Well, we got the rose, we got the chocolates. I think it's time to go back to Bachelor Bear. We know he'll be happy with those. Wow, I thought we didn't get the uh, rose until much later in the game. Guess not. And I swear this is as much backtracking as the game will have. It's kind of weird the Bachelor lives in like the middle of a lake and you ha there's like no boardwalk to get there. You literally have to swim across. Fantastic! You have both the rose and the chocolates. That's just what I need to take out on my date. Say, Collins, would you swap them for that stupid bird? Sure will. You would? That's great. Here's the bird. Please take care of him. You just said you hated him, but alright. Clear off then. I need to take a bath and prepare myself for my hot date. How long has your bath been, dude? You said that at the end of the first episode. Oh, that bachelor bear. He's so dateable, but not very relatable. Alright, that's enough World 1 shenanigans. I forget, is there anything else we can really do around here? Any hidden caves? I don't remember the overworld perfectly. I guess not. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Next episode, we will go to Cotton Top Cove. This is a... 
Maybe not the easier of the two worlds, but I feel like it makes more sense to do this one first. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great day, and God bless.